day, folks. Thank you for joining us here at Your Health. On today's program, we will be taking your calls for the whole hour. Let's get in as many as possible. With that notion in mind, let's get to the news. Let's see what's happening in the health world. Four-year-old children that have sleep difficulties are more likely to have psychiatric problems at age six. Researchers from the Norwegian University of Science and Technology evaluated 1,000 children's sleep and behavior patterns at four years of age. They re-evaluated the children at six. They found if the child struggled with sleep at four, they're at heightened risk for psychological problems at age, excuse me, at four, then they had more psychological problems at age six. They also found the relationship worked both ways, as psychological problems at four increased the risk of sleep problems at six. They found overall up to 40% of four-year-olds struggled with sleep. The study was published in the Journal of Developmental and Behavioral Pediatrics. Related research from the Sleep Center at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia finds children sleep better when they have a consistent bedtime routine. The researchers evaluated sleep and behavior patterns of over 10,000 children by interviewing parents from 14 countries. They found children with nightly bedtime routines have better sleep outcomes, earlier bedtimes, shorter times to sleep, reduced nighttime awakenings while they slept on average one hour longer. They also found children with bedtime routines had less sleep disturbances such as nightmares and fewer daytime behavioral problems. Folks, this is a powerful confirmation of the traditional way of putting children to bed with a soothing bedtime routine. First, we learned that four-year-olds that struggle with sleep are much more likely to develop psychological problems at age six. Sleep disturbances at this age include insomnia, frequent night awakenings, short sleep cycles, nightmares and night terrors, along with sleepwalking. If a child struggles with sleep at age four, they're more likely to suffer from psychological problems at age six. These problems include insomnia, anxiety, depression, restlessness, and hyperactivity, along with other behavioral disorders such as hostility and short tempers. And the relationship works both ways. Poor sleep leads to poor psychology, and poor psychology leads to poor sleep. Folks, my big concern is that in the world we live in today, sleep problems in children may be treated with drugs. What children really need are concerned and loving parents who are willing to take the time and make the effort to provide a consistent bedtime routine. This practice includes instituting a set of sequences of pleasurable and calming activities prior to bedtime. They may include brushing teeth, dressing for bed, and reading a bedtime story. A variety of activities are appropriate as long as they help calm the child while focusing on rest and rewarding sleep. High-fat dairy products reduce the risk of adult-onset diabetes. Researchers from Lund University in Sweden followed over 27,000 adults over 20 years. They found the study subjects that ate the most full-fat dairy, such as yogurt and cheese, were at 23% reduced risk of diabetes. They also found increased consumption of meats, regardless of fat content, increased the risk of type 2 diabetes. Well, folks, this is one more piece of evidence that leads to the ultimate conclusion that saturated fat is found in full-fat yogurt, milk, or cheese does not really cause disease, but rather helps protect us from diabetes. Recently, another study found full-fat dairy products do not promote weight gain. It is interesting to find that meat consumption was associated with diabetes regardless of the meat's fat content. It is my personal opinion that high-fat dairy and high-fat meats can cause a problem if they are a part of a high-sugar and starch diet. I think the take-home point is to limit your sugars and starches, but not your fats and oils. Another point that should be made is this study did not distinguish between fresh meats and cured meats. Previous research has shown it is cured meats that are associated with diabetes and cardiovascular disease, not fresh meats. Cured meats are processed with nitrates, nitrites, and other preservatives. Examples of cured meats include bacon, sausage, cold cut salami, smoked ham, and bologna. All of these meats can be prepared without curing. The uncured versions are generally available at health food stores. Persistent loneliness in seniors leads to more doctor visits and poor self-perceived health. Researchers from the University of Georgia reviewed data from the University of Michigan Health and Retirement Study involving over 3,500 community-dwelling seniors. They found if seniors endured extended periods of loneliness, they were more likely to visit their doctor and to assess their own health less favorably. Lonely test subjects reported difficulty with daily living tasks and a greater number of depressive symptoms. 
Related research from Brigham Young University finds loneliness and social isolation in seniors is as much of a threat to longevity as obesity, smoking 15 cigarettes a day, or being an alcoholic. The study analyzed data from several prior studies involving over 3 million subjects. Well, this is amazing, isn't it? These two studies put loneliness in perspective. Seniors who are persistently lonely, they visit their doctors more often, have difficulty with the activities of daily living, such as going to the grocery store or house cleaning. They're also more likely to have depression and a shortened lifespan. And we learn loneliness is as damaging to health as smoking almost a pack a day, being morbidly obese, or being an alcoholic. The study also found we have more lonely seniors now than at any time in previous history. Folks, loneliness is something we can all help. You don't need to be a doctor or a nurse to help a lonely family member or a church member or even a neighbor. Sending an email or a text message is nice, but it does not replace a visit in person. Take the time to drop by and visit an old friend or pick them up for church services. Next holiday, invite them over for a meal and some quality time. You could actually save a life from your kindness and you present a good example for the younger generation to follow when you need a little company. Well, today on Your Health, we will be taking your calls. We'll be right back. Can you lower your risk of disease? The answer is yes. One way is by including fruit in your diet. Fruit contains valuable nutrients that can reduce the risk of heart disease, stroke, and even some cancers. We've searched the world and found four fruits we believe are among the best. Noni from Polynesia, acai from the Amazon, and two new ones, goji and mangosteen. These four juices each have amazing properties that make them great additions to your nutritional plan. If you're a diabetic or have chronic pain, these juices will help you feel better and have more energy. Plus, they help with digestion. Now you can experience the health-promoting benefits of all four in one convenient package we call the Fruits of the World 4-Pack. And remember, it's 50% off by the case. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. I'm Cindy Becker for Your Health at a Glance. How often do you go into the grocery store to buy just a bag of chips or candy bar? I suspect not very often. Then how is it that these foods make it into our grocery bags and pantries? Do you make impulse choices and buy junk food? To control that impulse, plan your next trip to the store. Write down at least three days of menus and build a grocery list with the ingredients needed to prepare the meals. Eat a healthy snack before going to the store. If you are hungry, you're less likely to stick to the grocery list. Shop the perimeter of the store, starting with fruits and vegetables. Have you ever noticed the most healthy foods are in the outer aisles? And avoid items displayed at the checkout counter, trying to entice you to make a last minute purchase. Follow these tips and make a plan so your next trip gives you control and you come home with bags full of healthy food. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. Is your life out of balance? It may be. The average American consumes far too many omega-6s and not enough omega-3s. This creates an imbalance. So what can we do to get back in balance? We can eat a healthy diet. And most of us need to supplement with omega-3 rich fish oil. Fish oil contains omega-3s with DHA and EPA, fatty acids that promote good brain and heart health. So reduce omega-6 in your nutritional plan and boost omega-3 to get back in balance. To help you do that, BioInnovations offers two products, the Fish Oil Complex and Omega-369, both formulated for your health and well-being. So how do you choose? For highest levels of DHA and EPA, choose the Fish Oil Complex. For a balanced formula, choose the 369. Go online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Welcome back, everyone. It is so wonderful to be with you today. We are going to be taking your calls the entire hour. So please pick up that phone, dial 800-635-2673. We want to talk to you today. Well, let's just get right to it, shall we? Let's go to Florida and welcome Eddie to the show. Hi there, Eddie. Hey, how you doing? 
Hello, Hello Eddie. Eddie. How are you doing, Dr. Bucker? We're doing great. How are you doing, brother? I uh, ain't doing too good. Not so good. Tell me about it. Well, like I said, I was diagnosed with uh, liver cancer about a year ago. Okay. And they got me on the chemo. Okay. Is it working? Yeah, it's working, but I got a problem. Yes? My hand is numb and my feet is numb. Do you it remember, started, Eddie, do you started. remember the name of the chemotherapy you're taking? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't, okay. I don't know. Okay, okay. Some of the chemotherapy drugs can interfere with uh, B vitamins, and that can cause a uh, inflammation and uh, irritation of the nerves. Have you asked your doctors about this? What do they say? They, they, they ain't got no answers for me. They got no help for you. Okay. Well, they, they, what, 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 what happened was he told me say he had me on 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 a uh, on 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 a certain chemo. Uh huh. That I was taking like two or three different type of chemo. Uh huh. And he took me off that at that point to the kitchen. Okay. He took, he took me off the chemo. And he said that within about three to four weeks I should should get I, better. It should go away. Yeah. But it's been two months now. Okay, and it's still bothering you? It's still there. Okay. Well, I have one question for you, Eddie, then we'll get to the part where hopefully we'll give you some help. Did the cancer start in the liver, or did it spread and end up in the liver? It, it, it started in the liver. Okay, so did they call it hepatocellular cancer of the liver? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Have you been around... Um, See, the hepatocellular carcinoma of the liver is usually a result of exposure to aflatoxin. It is actually the number one cancer in Africa. But in Africa, people eat more spoiled foods than we eat here. Right. And it's the uh, liver toxins, the toxins of the, of the uh, of fungi affect the liver this way and it ends in cancer. Is this your scenario? Are you, do you know? Well, I, I think it came from hepatitis. Hepatitis, okay, that's... I think, I think that's where it came from, Doc. Okay, that makes sense. See, here in the United States, the number one cause of liver cancer is metastasis. Okay. If it's primary liver cancer, the number one cause in the United States is hepatitis C. Then it's followed by the exposure to aflatoxin. Worldwide, the number one cause of liver cancer is aflatoxin exposure. Okay. Okay, well, what I think I would do, and, and it's important, whenever you're a cancer patient to check with your oncologist about the supplements you take. Now, I understand that your oncologist is not an expert in nutritional therapies, but they are an expert in chemotherapy, the cancer drugs. And there are some scenarios where you have to be careful with certain nutrients, particularly folic acid, in uh, taking those with certain type of chemotherapy agents. So I just want to make the point that, you know, Eddie, you take this to your doctor and say, is it okay if I take this vitamin? And I, in most all cases, they say, yes, it's fine. Uh, I am glad to hear that it's helping. I'm glad to hear that it's helping. This is a common problem for people. We go through cancer treatment, the chemotherapy, the radiation, the surgery, whatever they're doing for you, the oncologist is doing, it's helping. But the patient doesn't feel like they're winning because the treatments are so toxic. There's so many side effects to cancer therapy today. Uh, chemotherapy, radiation, and, and the patient's often left with, I don't feel like I'm well and everybody's happy for me, but I'm a mess. And I think Eddie's in that frame of mind and he doesn't know where to turn. Well, Eddie, this is important. When we have a problem like this, go back to the basics. You need good sunshine. You need an extraordinarily healthy and fresh, preservative-free organic diet. The only foods you eat are ones that are good for you. There's no room for comfort food right now. You need foods that help to heal and restore. Uh, garden fresh foods, organic meats, uh, fish, this type of thing to help build your body. It might be very helpful for you to get on some vitamin D. I think you should take 5,000 units of vitamin D every day. It, it might not be, a, it's a good idea to do 10,000 a day for a month. Vitamin D, 10,000 a day for a month, and then 5,000 every day. It's highly likely you're low in vitamin D. 
Next, I want to send you the active adult multiple vitamin and mineral. No, the one I want you to have is the green label because we're dealing with a liver issue and the cruciferous extract in the green label multiple vitamin and mineral, that has healing properties for the liver. But you should only take a small dose, one teaspoon a day. See how you tolerate it because, you know, our liver processes these nutrients and your liver is compromised. So start with a teaspoon a day, not a high dose, but I want to replace these B vitamins in you and maybe we can help with this pain in the fingers and the toes. That can be very disruptive. Fish oil. Take two or three grams of fish oil every day. Alpha lipoic acid. Take two or three of these every day. It helps the liver. It takes the stress off the liver. And also, I want to uh, provide you with milk thistle. Milk thistle helps to take the stress off the liver. And one final thing, it, it just dawned on me, the mushroom complex, let's have you take four a day. Four a day of the mushroom complex. Um, how about foundations for healing, give you a guidepost, something to go by. Eddie, is there anything else on your mind that we could help you with? Well, that's the only thing that can serve me right now. Okay. Well, you hang in there. We're going to get this care package to you as soon as possible, and you will be in our thoughts and prayers. I have, there's a special place in my mind for all cancer patients, including you, Eddie. We have a break. We'll be right back. Are you one of the 62 million Americans suffering from gastrointestinal problems? Do you struggle with other chronic conditions? That's why we offer Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics. After years of research, we developed a revolutionary probiotic formula with gastro defense technology. This system protects the good bacteria from stomach acid so the probiotics reach the intestines where they go to work. Additionally, we use live count technology to prolong the shelf life of the probiotics, so there's no need for refrigeration. Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics is a powerful combination and one of the most effective formulas available today. And we offer a children's chewable formula too, both at prices you can afford. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. I'm Cindy Becker and this is Your Health at a Glance. Did you know the typical baby born in America today has over 200 foreign chemicals in their bloodstream? The world is a polluted place, but just how polluted may come as a surprise. Health experts report that pollution plays a major role in the development of ADHD, obesity, cardiovascular disease, Parkinson's disease, ALS, and a wide variety of cancers, including prostate and breast cancer. There are safe and simple steps you can take to lower your exposure to chemicals. Eat an organic, pesticide-free diet whenever possible. Be careful with the home use of chemicals. Don't consume fish that may be contaminated with mercury. Have your water supply tested for purity and add house plants to lower indoor pollution levels. By taking a few basic steps, we can protect ourselves from disease-causing pollution. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. For centuries, the herb astragalus has been a staple of traditional Chinese medicine. It's used to create a strong shield, protecting the immune system. Astragalus is also used to support healthy heart and lung function. There's even more. Astragalus helps to calm total body inflammation, a common cause of pain and chronic illness. All of that without the use of medication. That's right. Support your health the way nature intended with astragalus root. Bioinnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Astragalus Root Extract. Bioinnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. Give us a call at 888-442-2128 or order online at bioinnovations.net and see what Astragalus can do for your health. That number once again is 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Call today. We're back. Let's go to Florida now and welcome Deborah to the show. Hi, Deborah. Hello. Hello, Deborah. Hi. How are you today? 
I'm really excited to be on your show talking to you and listening to what you have to tell me about my help. Well, thank you very much. I hope I can help you. What's on your mind, Deborah? Well, everything. 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 I, okay. I, I'm going to be 63 in the fall, and my, my mom is going to be 83 in the fall. And since I was 19, and actually we go back to when I was 13 and began my periods, I would just begin to vomit really badly and have pain so much I had to stay in bed for my uh -huh. periods. Uh -huh. So just that began, you know, really bad problems. And I became pregnant at 15, and my mom influenced me to have an abortion, and and that, of course, made me really unhappy. But but then I married at 17, and then my husband left me at 19 with her, and he went to California, and that's when I had the mental breakdown. And I she took me understand. to the hospital, and the psychiatrist diagnosed me schizophrenic, and and dangerous to myself and others because we had he and I had an argument about food, of all things, and he had the nurse pick me with stelazine and thorazine, and it was bedtime. My mom had gone home, so they when she came the following morning, she found me in the lockup ward lying down with my body twitching and my eyes rolling and I couldn't even sit up. And so she waited for him and then she checked me out against medical advice. But that has been a yo-yo in our lives now for more yes. than 40 years. Deborah, so you, what you're telling me that your current state of affairs, the depression that you're dealing with, has its roots all the way back to your teenage years. Yes, exactly. Have you, you know, that's a really tough thing to go through what you did. And unless you've had counseling or you have a remarkable ability to work through problems on your own, I can see how you could remain stuck in that pattern and have lifelong depression. Have you and gotten I, professional help for this? Well, I've, I've been in and out of hospitals and by, by the time... Okay. Uh, what type of treatment did you get? Was it your standard antidepressants? Did you get well, shock it, therapy? What kind of things did they do for you? First of all, the schizophrenic diagnosis was completely wrong and and, yes. and and mom and I both knew that because we we both began to study she more than I the natural health method yes and, uh, and she knew more and when lithium came out she thought that would help me and I stayed in a hospital in uh, hospital Alabama for eight weeks well every day where they were getting blood tests and giving me lithium and of course I gained 35 pounds during that eight weeks yeah did it, did, did it help you Deborah no it did no, not I never no. did Never did well to any medication. Have you tried? Have you tried high dose niacin therapy? I, I did. Do, my mom did get me to do that. In fact, several times she has. I I have come home to her, and I, I have stayed in in the bedroom, and she has actually ministered food and supplements uh -huh. to me constantly. And I I didn't go out or do anything, and I actually would get well enough that that I could. She and I worked Regis inventory, doing inventory at one time. Okay. Because now, I Deborah, slow down here. Slow down. Listen, high-dose high well B vitamin time. therapy should be directed by a skilled physician, someone who is experienced in treating uh, mental illness with high-dose B vitamins and vitamin C and the other things that uh, the orthomolecular approach to treatment of disease includes. This is not something that I can direct you in. We can talk about it. And here's a scenario, folks. This is very important. People like Deborah are cast aside. You know, there was a time when there was over 400,000 mental health beds across this country, when our population was half of what we have today. Now we have less than half the mental health beds, psychiatric wards across the country. We have more mentally ill people than ever. It's not because we don't have anybody to fill these beds. It's because the treatments are not very good. It's expensive to do. And why pay for all that when people don't get better with all these medicines? It's a real problem. Deborah, you've used the medicines. We have the... See, here, here's something that everyone has to understand about depression. We have two basic types of depression. One, you're born with a set of genes that precludes you to a high propensity of depression. This is what we'd call endogenous depression. You're susceptible. The other is the kind of life's events, the diseases I'm fighting, the drugs I'm abusing, the events in my early life, the abuse I sustained, uh, unwanted pregnancies, abortions that you disagree with but you felt compelled you had to do it. That could haunt you your whole life. This leads you to susceptibility to depression. These are different schools. 
There are different types of depression. The drugs we have for depression work best on the endogenous, those who are genetically susceptible to depression. Now, somebody may ask Deborah, well, I've had depression all my life. All I can remember, well, you're endogenous. Take the drugs. Well, we don't know that. We don't know that. It was life's events that led to Deborah's de depressions. The medicines may not work very well. When they don't work, why keep doing the same thing over and over? We need to find a different plan. I strongly suggest that you find a physician, and they're typically psychiatrists, who are skilled in the use of high-dose B vitamins for the treatment of mental illness. Uh, not that they're so dangerous, but to give you confidence. To give you confidence. These things work. Now, here's the facts. Drugs to treat mental illness in general, schizophrenia, major uh, depression, bipolar depression, they help in the long run in about 20% of the cases. If you do studies, and these have been done, when you use high-dose niacin therapy and other agents like this, it works in 70% of the time. Now, all truth be told, the high-dose nutrient therapy works best when you treat early in the course of the depression or the schizophrenia. Early in the course works best. But even with long-term use of niacin, and I suspect you didn't do it long enough to get the full benefit, you didn't have the confidence in what you're doing. If you go to a world-famous psychiatrist who has 20, 30 years, 40 years of treating people this way gives you much better confidence. This is what I recommend you do. Now, I can send you things like vitamin D and B12 and uh, low-dose B-complex, uh, fish oil, uh, SAMe, these types of things. I wouldn't use the St. John's and SAMe's if you're using an antidepressant pill, but the vitamins are fine. These things can help you and they may make a big difference, but I strongly recommend you go to a doctor who knows how to do this. Deborah, are you still with me? Yes, yes. And, I and want to know your reaction to this. Talk to me. Well, I've been, I've been watching your show uh, uh -huh. for five or six years now when I have a television set. Yes. And, uh, and I'm always wanting to talk to you about it because uh, you, you, you seem to be telling me what I need to know, and that is that nutrition is the answer to my problem because drugs... I began smoking and drinking in the teenage years as well, uh -huh. and that never uh, helped no. the situation at all. And, no. and every every so often, the diagnosis would be changed uh, to finally bipolar. And of course, in my opinion, I don't have any mental illness. I just have a nutritional. My mother has. You know, Deborah, that. you're probably right about that. From my experience in studying medicine and treating patients over all these years, when a patient tells me, "Doc, I think it's this." I've learned you need to listen because they're usually right. I don't hear delusions from you. I don't hear breaks in your speech pattern. I don't, I'm, what I'm trying to tell you is I don't hear the things that we typically associate with schizophrenia. Have you you've been told you're schizophrenic, haven't you? Only that one diagnosis, and it was because the doctor made me angry because he wanted to feed me a ham sandwich at uh, 10 o'clock at night because I had, been, had not eaten my supper. And I told him I don't eat pork, and he and I argued about it. And uh -huh. Made me angry, and I responded in an angry way. And he told the nurse to get the stethoscope, and then I had a bad reaction to that, and he had to okay. put it. Okay. Well, see, that kind of thing can work its way onto your medical record and follow you for the rest of your life. Then everybody looks at you a little askew. You follow me? Now, here's a very important question. The next problem in treating mental illness is funding. Do you have? Are you on disability? Do you have health I'm, insurance? I'm on, I'm on disability, and that means. Uh, um, I have difficulty. First of all, the government will pay for medication, but they won't pay for any supplements. See, that's the problem. This really is the basic treat. problem. One of the most viable treatments for mental illness is not provided, but drugs that work a third of the time to a fifth of the time, they're always provided. You know, there, there's an axiom in orthomolecular treatment of chronic disease, this, this method. Um, medications make sick people well, and medications make well people sick. Think about it. If you're sick and desperately fighting for your life, that medicine could save your life. But once you're well, once you're out of the woods and doing pretty good, if you keep taking that medicine, it's inevitably going to make you sick. And this is exactly what happens for many in mental illness like schizophrenia. This is why you see in popular television and movies the schizophrenic 
uh, typically says, I'm tired of these medicines. I can't take them anymore. And concerned family members said, but you must. You must. It's controlling your schizophrenia. Well, it may help control the schizophrenia, but the patient feels so bad, they're willing to have schizophrenia instead of the side effects of the medicine. This is how it works. The antipsychotic medicines... They make the sick people well for a while, but then they make them sick again with all the side effects, so they go off the medicines. See, this is a dilemma, folks, and there are alternatives, but this is not something I can do on the television. I strongly recommend, and we'll get you a list of referrals of people that you can go to, Deborah. We have a break. We'll be back in a minute. Have you heard of Cordyceps sinensis, the medicinal mushroom that supports metabolic processes for stimulant-free energy? This remarkable mushroom also supports the immune and respiratory systems, as well as the heart and lungs. Bioinnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients, Cordyceps sinensis. Medicinal mushrooms contain beta-glucans, compounds that promote healthy immune function while helping to coordinate multiple body systems. And Cordyceps sinensis is among the safest and most powerful medicinal mushrooms available today, making it your choice for stimulant-free natural energy. Bioinnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. Give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. Be sure to ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Dr. Becker and this is Your Health at a Glance. Are you one of the millions of Americans who are at risk for heart problems? If your diet is like the average Americans, you're getting far more sodium than your body needs, and this may create serious problems for your heart. A new study from the Netherlands showed that a diet high in salt not only increases blood pressure to dangerous levels, it also causes damage to your blood vessels. To avoid these problems, you need to avoid foods that are high in salt, such as preserved and prepared foods like frozen dinners, canned soups and other canned foods, Cured meats such as lunch meat, hot dogs, bacon and sausage, condiments and sauces such as soy sauce, teriyaki sauce, and spaghetti sauce. And snack foods such as salted nuts, pretzels, and chips. Eat fresh fruits and vegetables, fresh meats, poultry, fish, and other salt-free alternatives. As you decrease your intake of salt, your desire for salty foods will eventually be reduced. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Becker. Vitamin D deficiency is at epidemic levels in the United States. Chances are you aren't getting enough of this essential nutrient. Vitamin D is one of the most important molecules in the human body. It's required for the proper function of nearly 4,000 genes and 1,000 metabolic chemical reactions. Bioinnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Vitamin D3. Now supplementing with vitamin D is safe and affordable. Studies show that vitamin D deficiency can lead to poor immune function, depression, cardiovascular disease, bone disease, diabetes, cancer, and much more. Starting supplementing vitamin D today for better health tomorrow. Bioinnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. So give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. We're back taking your calls the entire hour today. So if you haven't tried to call before, now is a good time. Dial 800-635-2673. Well, let's go to Nevada now and welcome Willie. Hi there, Willie. Oh, how y'all doing, Dr. Beck and Cindy? We're doing great, Willie. How are you? I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Trying to enjoy my little retirement. I don't know if I should have went retirement or not, but after doing... Well, you worked hard for that retirement. I hope you enjoy it. Are you in good, <laughs> are you in good health, Willie? Yeah, I, I think I'm... And uh, for my age, I'm 66. Uh, like I said, I did my tour in the military, worked a couple... Uh -huh. 13 years out here in the public area, but um, uh, I, I I go to the VA hospital, uh, you know, and I went and and I didn't I never felt the symptoms. I read the book that I got from y'all when I got my first order of uh, Oni uh, juice uh -huh. and you no know, and the thyroid disorder, and I've been reading it and I had no problems. I didn't feel no weaknesses. Maybe you don't feel it. I don't know, but everything I've read. 
Uh, but I did go back, and I just had my, my lab test done this year, which is the latest one. And my, my TSH was uh, 11.66, which is screaming right. high. 11 po okay, your TSH was over 11. Yeah. Okay, now you're under the impression you have hyperthyroid? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking because it's, that number is high and then they said it should yeah. be in the... Okay, well, let's see, here's the thing, Willie, when your thyroid stimulating hormone, that's what TSH stands for, Okay. it goes up when your thyroid level is low. So the thyroid stimulating hormone is released by your brain to get the thyroid gland up and moving to make more hormone. So, so you are hypothyroidic. You're, you're low thyroid. So, oh, it's just a reverse of what he's saying. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. okay. So I'm not making enough uh, hormone then. You're not making enough, and problems will follow if we don't get your thyroid hormone up. This okay. greatly increases your risk of a wide variety of problems, including heart failure, uh, arthritis, weight gain, depression, uh, high cholesterol levels, which would lead to heart disease, you name it. You know, you, your thyroid gland makes thyroid hormone, which is your metabolic pace setter for all cells. Okay. And it, it's just, it's just going to get worse and worse and worse, and it can really lead to problems. Have they recommended a medication for you? This, well, let me tell you what I got right now. Here's my bottle here. I'm taking... Uh... I, I got off it a couple of days ago, but I went back on it five days ago because uh -huh. I thought that maybe I don't need to be doing this. Maybe I could find something out there that could, without taking medication. But what it got me on right now is that Synthroid. Synthroid. Yes, okay. Synthroid. Well, let me explain that to you. We, we call that a medicine, but it is really, truly, it's the thyroid hormone. It, it, and it's um, easier. See, here's the problem with thyroid hormone therapy. One teaspoon of pure thyroid hormone will last you three years of life. Just one little teaspoon. We're talking tiny amounts here. The old way of doing it, and we still do it in some cases, is take the gland, the thyroid gland of an animal, say a, 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 a pig or a cow, and we would take that and eat small amounts of it to replace our thyroid hormone. Well, that's hard to get exact. And so they've developed a way to synthesize the pure T4 hormone, thyroid hormone, so it's more accurate and more predictable and it's easier to manage. Now, that's the T4 hormone, but our body uses T3. We take the T4 and convert it to T3 and we find that some people don't convert well, so for them, desiccated thyroid uh, is the better way to go because it has T4 and T3 in it. We don't know that about you yet. We don't know that you'll need armor thyroid yet, but you definitely need thyroid hormone. Synthroid's a good way to start. Uh, this is one of the most commonly used medicines in America. How long has this been going on, sir? How long? Uh, they just, I, been, they, I think I've been on it now about two months. It's probably been going on. I didn't know nothing about it until this, uh, maybe uh, five or six months ago. Okay. Okay, well, thyroid hormone, T4, Synthroid, has a very long half-life. It's about a week long, meaning you take a pill, seven days later, half of it's still in you. So the point I'm getting at is it takes several months of taking this hormone before your body has a steady state of hormone. So it, won't, it, it will take two or three months of being consistent with your dosage before you know if it's the right dose. But you need to be on hormone. You need to be on thyroid hormone. Synthroid is a synthetic version of it, but it acts for this. Once you get your levels up to normal and your TSH is down below one, then you ask yourself, do I feel good? If you don't feel right, you either need to raise the dose, which doesn't help too much because your TSH is already low, or convert to armor thyroid because it has a little T3 in it. But we don't know that about you yet. Did I hear you say you have Dr. Brownstein's book on thyroid disease? Yes, I'm almost finished with it reading it. Yes. Yeah, you read that and memorize it. Do you have the one on iodine? Why you need iodine? Uh, I just got another order of the uh, uh, Cindy was done last Friday when she gave that one with uh, getting that the juice okay, for pack. All the thyroid people, you need the uh, Dr. Brownstein's book on what you must know about thyroid disease, I believe it is, okay. and then what you, why you need to supplement iodine. He has two books related to the thyroid gland, and they're both excellent and will help people understand how to approach treating thyroid disease. Have, are, do you have a little clearer image now of what's going on? Yes, what? I do. I, I really, this book really opened up my eyes to a lot about the thyroid. One thing before we leave. 
it's try not to skip doses. You know, you were on it for a while, you went off it. That gets confusing in managing your dosage level. Get on a steady, even the time of day. And another thing about taking thyroid hormone is don't take it with minerals. You know, if you're on a multiple mineral, a multiple vitamin with minerals, uh, split them apart because minerals can bind up the thyroid hormone and make it hard to absorb. So you can take minerals, but just in the evening. Take your Synthroid in the morning, minerals in the evening, you'll be fine. Okay? But stay on it steady. Get back to your doctor. Repeat the TSH. If, it's, if the TSH is low, then we ask, if I'm not feeling so good, maybe I need armor. If you're feeling good, just keep doing what you're doing. Thank you for the call. A lot of people with that same situation. We have a break. We'll be right back. Every day, about 200 million Americans do not get enough of a key essential mineral. That mineral is magnesium. The typical American diet does not supply enough. And magnesium is so important. It protects bones and helps more than 300 different enzymes in the human body perform efficiently. That's why BioNovations offers chelated magnesium capsules for oral use and topical magnesium gel to be applied to the skin. That's two forms of magnesium to meet your daily needs. Scientific evidence points to chelation as the best method of vitamin and mineral formulation. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Because chances are you are one of the 200 million Americans who need more magnesium every day. Again, that number is 888-442-2128. Call today. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Here is our hope for you today. I'm Cindy Becker. Do you feel that you'll never really be joyful and happy in your life? The Reverend Billy Graham wrote about these two emotions, joy and happiness. Dr. Graham says, joy is not the same as happiness, although they may overlap. Happiness depends on circumstances. Joy depends on God. In Psalm 30, David, whose life seemed an endless battle, experienced joy despite his problems as king of Israel. David wrote, you turned my wailing into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy that my heart may sing to you and not be silent. If you are struggling to find joy in your life, pray to God, count your blessings. Joy depends on God. I'm Cindy Becker. This is our hope for you today. Do you believe that nature holds the answer to your health needs? Are you looking for a supplement that's simple and pure, yet really works? If you're looking for nature's answer to better health, look to Aloha Noni Juice. It's pure and fresh, just like nature intended. Aloha Noni Juice is brought to you direct from the islands of Polynesia. Aloha Noni Juice is 100% pure with no added sugar or sweet fruit fillers. It's the perfect addition to your low sugar diet. Aloha Noni Juice drinkers will tell you their vitality, energy, and sense of well-being have improved, along with relief from many painful conditions. Made by nature, proven by science. Aloha Noni Juice contains only nature's best. And now you can enjoy the benefits of our new 100% certified organic Noni Juice. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. back. Let's go to Arkansas now and welcome Pat. Hi there, Pat. Hello, Pat. Good afternoon, Doc. Hey, how are you today? Well, I'm pretty good. Pretty good? I'm having a hard time breathing, but other than that, oh I'm my. doing well. That's distressing. Tell us about it. Okay. Uh, well, my doctor retired, like the middle of 2013, uh -huh. and I went to a new doctor, and I thought, well, I'm almost pushing 70, so maybe I should just go to a senior doctor. Uh-huh. And, but anyway, she just put me through the ringer, you know, all kinds of tests and everything. Correct. And uh, she told me that I had a touch of asthma uh -huh. and touch of COPD and emphysema. I think my asthma was worse than those other two. Uh -huh. and, uh, but anyway, and, you know, and she uh, later put me on, uh, I think it was Sabrina, Sabrina, 
about two times a day, uh -huh. and then an inhaler. I think it was Cibacord or something, and emergencies. But anyway, just right after I took that, I, it's like I was having an allergic reaction, you know, and oh. like hacking, like a cat with a hairball in its throat or something, you know. Uh -huh. And I kept telling her that, and she said, well, cause I've never been on medicine before. She said it would just take me a while to get used to it, but it was to my benefit to do that. Yes. And I'd done it for about three months, I guess, and I got where I couldn't breathe. Oh, my. Or, you know, and uh, so, uh, but anyway, I stopped it after three months, and then uh, I've seen on the commercial, uh, I think it was Friday, that, that doing one of them commercials for Sabrina said that uh, if you have asthma, don't take that because you could die, you know, that it will right. enhance it. So, so, you know, and I don't know why she didn't know that. You well, know, but, Pat, right. now slow down here for a minute. Mm -hmm. Were you a smoker? Yes, I had been a smoker. Have you I quit smoking? In, Have you quit? Yeah, I, back in uh, 1987. Okay, okay. Yeah. And you feel, of course, how long did you smoke? That's relevant too. How long? Uh, probably 18 years. Something 18 like that. years. The uh, typical uh, initiation of emphysema is around 20 pack years. Some people are extremely sensitive and can develop emphysema in as few as five pack years. A pack year is one pack a day for a year. Uh, mm -hmm. If you have asthma or other uh, lung conditions, say you work in a uh, marble plant where they cut stone and there's a lot of dust, this can greatly accelerate. If you have an alpha trypsin one deficiency, there's conditions that make some people very susceptible to emphysema. Next, do you have allergies, Pat? Well, I didn't have. I didn't have my, if I had asthma when I was a child or whatever growing okay. up, I never had, but I do have asthma now. Okay, well, see, that's an important point because allergies. asthma yeah. as a child usually goes away in adulthood. Oh, However, okay. well, asthma as a child can come back when your lungs are challenged for other reasons. Next question. Pat, have you been on many rounds of antibiotics in your eye? Because you have a lung condition. So mm -hmm. uh, maybe bronchitis and pneumonia here, there. You end up with colds that end up in your chest. Antibiotics. The last couple of years I have been, yes. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it seems to me like you're developing... And a, I have allergies bad now, too. Yeah. Yes, it, yes. You know. Uh, you know, what I would do for you is to treat for yeast and candida, treat for intestinal dysbiosis. Let, let me help you explain. The bowel has bacteria in it. Mm -hmm. When the bacteria become abnormal from the use of antibiotics, ab uh, from diet, from hormone th therapies, from medicines, there's a whole long list of things that can do this. I'll send you a book to help you understand it. When the okay. intestinal bacteria become unbalanced, abnormal, they create chemicals that inflame the lungs. And in order to calm the lungs down, you have to correct the dysbiosis in the gut. And one of the most common abnormal germs in the gut is yeast. If we can treat the yeast in the gut, the lungs get better. This is, uh, this is something that holistic physicians are very familiar with. It's in the research now. This is not just some isolated country doctor's notion. There's, uh, there's a tremendous amount of research on this now. So I want to send you foundations for healing. It'll help you understand this concept of, of intestinal dysbiosis. Next question, are you taking any dietary supplements, Pat? Are you taking vitamin D? Yes, uh, I went to my OBGYN, uh, got a tap in the... He, I asked, I was questioning him about my vitamins, and uh, uh -huh. he said you ought to just take uh, prenatal vitamin. Well, that's a that's a basic vitamin for yeah. somebody who is not having the health challenges you have. It does have anywhere near enough vitamin D to help you correct your scenario. There's no doubt your condition has its root, in my mind, with vitamin D deficiency. Your vitamin D level needs to be above 44. We see an increase of asthma symptoms when the vitamin D level is before, below, excuse me, bef below 44 nanograms per milliliter. And your doctor may not be aware of that, but I am. That research is in the Journal of the American Medical Association. That's mainstream stuff. And it's interesting to note, it was reported on the evening news that vitamin D doesn't help asthma. But fortunately, I read the fine print, and it did. It does, and it will help you. You need 5,000 units a day.
vitamin D3. I also want to send you oil of oregano and olive leaf extract along with cordyceps sinensis. These three things will help to suppress the yeast growth. I want to send you probiotics, glucoman and fiber. We're treating the intestines, remember. Also, fish oil will be coming your way because it calms the inflammatory reaction of the lung. Of course, we ingest this in our intestinal tract, but it goes through our entire body. Uh, the uh, olive leaf, oh, one last one, I think. One question, dear, do you struggle with a little arthritis and joint pain? Most people do as we get up in years. How about it's you? In well, my fingers and hand, yeah. Yes, I think Boswellia would help you tremendously. Boswellia is the biblical frankincense. Ancient tradition, it is helpful for asthma and joint pain. So we're gonna send you the, the uh, asthma kit, so to speak. We're gonna treat for dysbiosis, probiotics, and the anti-yeast measures, along with foundations for healing. And maybe you should get another opinion from a different doctor. You know, when you lose confidence in your doctor, don't stick around. The soured milk isn't gonna get better if you put it back in the refrigerator. Find a new doctor, that's my opinion. We have a break, we'll be back. Have you heard about the health promoting power of medicinal mushrooms? These remarkable mushrooms include maitake, shiitake, reishi, and ABM. The medicinal mushrooms contain beta-glucans, compounds that promote healthy immune function while helping to coordinate multiple body systems. Bioinnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Mushroom Complex with maitake, shiitake, reishi, and ABM in one convenient product. Our mushroom complex features the safest and most powerful medicinal mushrooms available, providing natural support for a variety of health conditions. Bio Innovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. So give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Dr. Richard Becker for Your Health at a Glance. High cholesterol raises your risk for cardiovascular disease, but it's just one risk factor among many. And the need to lower your cholesterol can be over-exaggerated. Everywhere in the media, we see advertisements for cholesterol-lowering prescription drugs. It's a big business. Now, cardiovascular disease kills more Americans than any other disease, so we need to pay attention to all the risk factors for heart disease. Here's a prevention strategy. Besides lowering your cholesterol, treat high blood pressure. Stop all tobacco, manage diabetes, exercise regularly to stay fit, avoid sugar, eat fish and fresh fruits and vegetables. Take your daily vitamin and use omega-3 oils. Address all your risk factors, not just your cholesterol. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. There are thousands of fungal species, and at least 200 of them have been found to cause human diseases. Fungal infections are common, so what can we do to protect ourselves? One solution is oregano, a natural alternative. Oregano fights problems created by fungus and yeast overgrowth, and it improves many other health conditions. At BioInnovations, we offer oregano in gel caps and liquid extract. Yeast and fungal disorders can improve. So take charge of your health by choosing a natural alternative such as oregano gel caps or oil of oregano liquid extract. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. Your health is brought to you by BioInnovations, trusted products for your health and well-being. We're back. Let's go to New Jersey and welcome John. Hi there, John. Hello, John. Hello. What's on your mind, John? I'm having trouble. <clears throat> I'm having trouble with simple sugars uh -huh. and starches. They uh, upset my nerves 
and they, uh, you know, because I can't eat any fruits, I can't eat any starches, I can't eat any breads, I can't eat any dairy. What do, when you say you can't eat them, what happens? Give me the exact reaction. Uh, the, the simple sugars make my nerves vibrate and uh, make my depression worse. How long has and this been going on, John? I've had the, oh, for a very long time. And uh, I've had depression for about 35. Well, this food allergies have just come up in about the last year or so. Okay, okay. So do you get a skin reaction? Is it a typical? No, uh, nausea. When I eat bread or uh, any starches, I get uh, nauseated in my stomach. Okay. And uh, the starches, the, my body turns the starches to sugars, and then the sugars. Uh, uh, so, make it well, John, here's my question. You know, starches and sugars are not necessary for life. It's the one nutrient that we love and eat a lot of, but it's not necessary. Fats, proteins are. So there are many people who follow the so-called Atkins diet. This is extremely low sugars and starches. Y you can get by and do well by avoiding those foods. Have you tried that? Well, what seems to agree with me best uh -huh. is uh, broccoli, cauliflower, uh -huh. and, and uh, green beans for my vegetables, uh, turkey breast for... Uh, uh, my meat, and then uh, that's for lunch. So, John, have... when you eat those foods and only those foods, do you feel good and fine and everything is on par and I can get it going? Is yes. it like that? Then why yes. don't you do that? Do that. You mean I can't have uh, uh, fruits and... Uh, if it uh, makes you sick, don't eat it. John, what I think you should do is you could go you should go to an alternative minded doctor and do an antibody panel for foods and find out if you're having immune reactions to foods the basics of this type of food sensitivity this is not food allergy this is food sensitivity and intolerance is the development of antibodies to these foods and it comes from this is the theory with good evidence leaky gut syndrome due to yeast infections in the intestinal tract that's the essence of your problem. Treating for those things helps to reverse that. You can shorten the course to wellness by getting antibody panels. Cyrex Lab is one place that does C-Y-R-E-X. Cyrex Labs does this. Your doctor can collect the blood, send it in. I want to send you foundations for healing so you have a guidepost to do this. As long as you're getting complete nutrition, you can have a highly selective diet. Don't eat the things that make you feel bad. Focus on the foods that make you feel good and strong. Take a good multiple vitamin and mineral preparation to make up for the differences and get on with your life. But do the blood test. Elimination diet can help you understand that too, but I think you've been through that. Well, folks, interesting program today. Thank you for your kind attention and your calls. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Bye-bye. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow right here on Your Health. Bye-bye. Did you know lifestyle diseases are a $2 trillion economic burden annually? Benjamin Franklin once said an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Don't wait for a diagnosis, disease, or other ailment to surprise you. Eat an apple, take a walk, give a hug. Take positive preventive steps towards a healthier lifestyle, and you'll experience vitality every day. It's not crazy, just healthy. Beloved, above all things, I wish, I pray, I want you to prosper. If you get around people who don't have a small God, if you get around people